Hey, hello everybody, this is Purge, we're in your first person gameplay commentary, I'm going to be playing the old Slark once again. Um, yeah, I think a couple things about Slark, he is a generally bad hero, in my opinion, in my opinion, I think he's a bad hero, I'm bad at him, but I think he's also kind of crappy. Um... That's okay. You can be into support for a game. I'm just going to wait a second to pick the hero because I'm uh, a little scared that they will pick things that hard counter me. Um, yeah, uh, Sark is a hero. Let's go over his abilities really quick. His first skill is called Dark Pact. It is a delayed nuke that does AoE damage. The problem with it is that, uh, well, it's very low mana and very low cooldown, but it costs half of your HP. Um, half of your HP to cast it, and once it finally does the damage, that's when the damage gets dealt. I'll show you guys it later. Uh, second skill is, oh wait, but one other thing, this removes negative debuffs, so things like, um, dust or, uh, stun, you can remove these using Dark Pact. It's pretty cool. Um, second skill is Pounce, is it leaps you into the air 700 units, does damage, and it leashes somebody, which means that they can't run outside of that range. It's kind of like Puck ulti, but not exactly. Yeah. Not exactly like that. Third skill is Essence Shift. As I attack an enemy hero, every time I hit them, they lose one of every stat temporarily, and I gain three agility for 15, 30, 60, and 120 seconds, which can be very nice for farming after a team fight happens. Only against players. Uh, final skill is Shadow Dance. This is his ultimate. Uh, when he's passive, this is there's a passive and an active. When he's not seen by your opponent, that means no creeps, no neutral creeps, no towers, no wards. You get huge regen and you get huge movement speed as well i'm not really sure what this guy is going to be doing with uh with the centaur perhaps but um yeah regardless i'm going to the top lane i should probably go buy my items instead of waiting around this is kind of you know i'm gonna buy some extra regen because every time that i go to lane i always run out slightly So you get uh, movement speed, and you get also a lot of regen. Um, I don't know what he's doing with his centaur. I hope he's not planning to get farm, because I'm Good. taking farm on Slark. Support Slark is not going to happen. I don't know what he's doing with this pick. CM is going to be a good pick, so... Okay, um, yeah, another cool thing about Shadow Dance as an active, it's pretty low cooldown, 25 seconds, costs quite a bit of mana, 120, but it makes you invisible towards the opponents, they can see you with true sight, so you can use it if you're kind of in a make or break situation or you're chasing somebody that's a single target stun, and that can shut them down quite a bit. Um, I guess the heroes that we're playing against is actually be pretty tough with a PA, because there will be evasion, and if I miss my attack, then of course... I wish we had sentries, but we don't. If uh, if I miss my attacks... I'm definitely going to farm for at least a bit. I don't know what this ganker slark is, but I don't know what he's doing with his centaur pick. His pick is really weird. They're going to have a bounty hunter, so we definitely don't have any sentries. So that means... Uh, I'm going to pick up essence shift, by the way, because I know that he's going to be within my melee range occasionally. Oops. I really wanted to hit him there, but it's not going to happen. Well, I don't know what this guy's doing. Hopefully he's not taking a farm. I really wanted to hit the bounty hunter. If I hit the bounty hunter, he loses. Don't even- Tony, you're not going to get him. Don't even bother. Just go get sentry wards or pull the jungle or some shit. God, I hate it when my allies don't get sentry wards at start. I find it so frustrating. And now we're triple uh, triple spreading experience, which is not really worth it. So um, our lane is kind of crappy at the moment. All right, I'm gonna get one leap for the moment. There's no escape. I want to trade hits with this guy if possible. So I can steal. Oh my god, I just took a lot of creep damage. What the fuck? Yeah, I'll be fine. Just a dance for a bit. I just took so much creep damage I didn't even notice. I'll take that. Tried to hit him. Careful. But it didn't work. Okay, I used myself. That was silly. I'll have a stout shield. I'll be fine. Right. So he's going to pull that pass. He's going to get a lot of experience now. Um, Tony, you can pull okay. this large camp into the wave. 
I don't know if he knows how to do that. No, don't pull it this way. Now you're talking. Let me max you now. Um, pull it like right now, towards uh, upwards. Right. I can show you. Go ahead. I'm, I gotta watch this. I don't courier. think I'm gonna get it. Why is the courier here? Right. Why the fuck is the courier here? Why? Nice Why was the courier there? I think we might actually get him. He's gonna die. Wow! Thank God he's got sentry words. Totally worth it. I didn't. I, he might have gotten away otherwise. It was good that he had frostbite. So that worked out. Tony brought himself sentries. He took my branch or my uh, tangles, but oh well. I'll trade a tango for a hero kill. It's okay with me. I got the leap off, so I was able to stop him from running Which way, way too far. That Can you explain that better? Do you see the way the creep just came now? That that way. Yeah. And you pull it like right oh, yeah, before they get to your tower. About. Okay. So. Um, my s I've definitely seen that before. I think the skill build on Slark is kind of all over the place. You guys have to keep in mind that Slark hasn't been played on a uh, pro level. So that means that the skill build is largely untested, or better yet, people are not really sure what the best build is. What? Okay, I'll take that. So Bounty Hunter comes back. So the skill build is largely... Um, Oh, this is looking good. I'll finish my thought in just a second. Nice. Worth it, Nishab. Yeah, it's totally okay. He got the kill. Um, I'm gonna get boots now. And I'm also gonna grab one of these. So this is gonna give me some HP. I might actually need some mana regen. I didn't think about this. Um, usually I don't have too much mana regen or mana problems, but it's looking okay now. Um, or it's not looking okay. I don't remember what I was saying before, but I was busy getting kills. Um, I'm going for dark pack. Oh yeah, that's right. Okay, maxing dark pack first if I'm in a safe lane. This is what I think is the correct item build to do. I don't have a lot of our skill build, sorry. If I'm doing a mid roll, which I have tried before, I think it sucks, but it's something you can do if you really want to. So if you're going for a mid roll out of your slark, then I think maxing pounce first is probably the best. But even still, it's kind of crappy. Is the best way to describe it. Just go pulling stuff. It's very, it's very tough to make stuff work. So I've got treads now, this gives me lots of attack speed, so that I can use, uh, oops, this is not looking good. It's so hard to land leaps. I'm gonna try to do it though. Put on this guy instead. Tango. And I got blocked by Centaur. Oh shit. Killing spree. Carry Crystal Maiden. Yes. Luckily it's okay because, um... It's okay getting, um, giving Crystal Maiden all the kills because uh, all of the last, I'm sorry, the um, the gold spread now for being in range of kills is actually pretty darn good. I don't I really want to get that last hit, but oops. I need one last hit for some tranquil. He denied me. No, get out of here. I need one. You have three kills. Do you really think you need the last hit? Seriously. <laughs> He's got three kills. You have all the kills on the team. You do not need the gold. Man. Okay, so still last hitting, two heroes coming top. I've got an ulti, but I don't actually have points into it. Um, Bounty Hunter is going to be a, a slight problem. Um, I think I might go Medallion this game, actually. But So I'll, I'll grab the Sage's Mask right now. That'll give me some, uh, some something to work with for mana for now. So now I have my ulti. That means if I'm not spotted by my opponents, that means that... Um, they, I, I get a big regen boost. So I've got that up my sleeves. I should have really good lane stain power. This is why you kind of skip tranquil boots despite Slark doing some farming stuff. I'm really surprised I got that one. Uh, since the creeps were hitting it, I didn't think it was going to look very good. Luckily, I can outlast at these guys pretty easily. I might have to tread switch. We'll gank them, just hide out right here. Hopefully the, uh, I'm gonna switch to this, uh, intreds right now. Hopefully I can pounce on one of these guys. Oh, 
Okay, we got him. Nice job. They actually put a sentry down to try to counter our sentry. That worked out really good for us. I see the importance of the sentries. So I'll back off for a bit, get tons of regen. Maybe need a tango here. Oops. Yeah, you know, I think I, I think I'm gonna stick with the medallion. I think this is gonna be good. Uh, I'm gonna sell this first. God, should I actually buy it already? Okay. I could. Let's do it. I don't know if this is gonna pay off. We'll see. But I've got full HP again because of the regen, as you can see. It's very, very good. You're mine now. The reason that I'm going for a medallion is because it'll give me mana regen and single target DPS, basically. Okay, good. That is my medallion recipe. Kevin, recrow in a minute here. Just wait. Why am I waiting? Just let me get it. Recrow, recrow, recrow. By a minute, he meant four seconds. Is what he meant. Another good thing about the medallion is it's it's giving me six armor or five armor. Sorry. Okay, I guess he cancelled it a couple times. Gives me 5 armor against heroes like Bounty Hunter and um, this way. the other hero, which is going to be PA. That's going to be very, very useful. Got him. Okay, and he used my ulti as well because I was a little worried about dying. I'm going to grab a second Essence Shift just to double the duration for a bit. It should help out. But since I was a little worried there, I ended up popping um, my ulti. I'm just going to hurt my mana pool for quite a bit, but I think that'll pay off. And then I'm going to buy a magic wand as well, and a TP scroll, which I'll bring to me next. So I'll jack the courier again. Hopefully Blitz does not get too upset. So now the nice thing about this build is that uh, I've got decent survivability of physical damage. I've, got, I've gotten a lot of assists and kills in lane, which is fine. Um, all the kills that Crystal Maiden took were he was likely to get, like he needed to take them pretty much. Oops, that's not good. I'm all out. Luckily, I can put my ulti on and get obscenely good regen and go invisible and everything's fine. So, I'm just gonna hide. Okay. I'm just gonna regen for a second. Pull the creep I pass. Don't let it die. Don't let it hit the tower. Alright, and regening to full. Regening to full. I'm comfortable enough now, I think, to take these. I wanna make sure I get the EXP for that one. Regen. Beast Master is level 7. My mana is coming back up again. Good times. I might want to get a uh, poor man's shield is very good as well on this hero. Because you are an agility hero. We can push this. Let's go buy that now. Alright. So this is going to guarantee block damage. Should be able to get this. Dual breath, man. Good stuff. But it's okay, because now I'm invisible again, or at least unseeable by the enemy team. So I'm getting regen. I didn't trust it. Just uh, if you don't, if you're wondering if he's here, just look at me. And if you see my ulti buff, then you know that they can't see me. You can use that for wards and stuff. So if I'm regening oh, fast, then you know that he's not there. Yeah, I didn't know that hero well enough yet. So once again, the the twin and a dragon let me latch onto him. The range is pretty good, and we're able to get the kill. I might go bottom, perhaps. I can TP bot. Right. Yeah, I could too. All right, I need to go over here. I'm coming. We got one hero. Let's see if we can get Barretter as well. And we get them all. So my gank was pretty effective there. Everything is going pretty well. So we will now chase. This is too dangerous of me, but. I really want to fight that prophet, but gotta wait for my HP to get a little higher. Alright, I'm going back in now. My 
this coming it's not good okay. all right i'm gonna live oh luck i was late on the coin blade but i still made it happen okay so things are going pretty well my hp is up i am now regening i'm coming back down because he's down there Let's see if i can save him is the question I'm actually really low on mana, so this is not worth it. But might should I buy back? I wonder. Oh damn, he's got a blink tag already. That's a really fast <laughs> blink phase. Super fast blink phase. Oh, well, you know, I shouldn't have died, but it's not the end of the world. PA ended up going for Helm of the Dominator. Um, what I might want to do this game, I think what I'm going to do actually is I'm going to go a Heaven's Halberd because there's a PA on the enemy team. I'm not really. I mean, I am kind of carrying. All right, I am carrying for our team, so maybe I should go major damage items instead. But um, what would maybe be smart is a Manta style, perhaps, because that'll that'll stop track at least. And uh, track hasn't really been a case yet this game, but it could be in the future. I'm gonna want to keep my Quelling Blade for quite a long time, though. So I'll just wait till I respawn. I'll play it safe. Um, if I go Halberd, I won't do as much damage late game. So what I think I want to do. See if I can get around. I don't know if he sees that it's me or not, but I'm gonna try to get behind him. I should be able to kill him. He's, he can actually TP quite easily, because I don't have a stun. That's one thing. We'll see if he goes for the TP. Yeah, that's a very easy escape for him. All right, let's do some quick wave clearing. It's very easy for uh, Slark to actually push because uh, Dark Pact has such a low cooldown it does 300 damage. That was Jakiro actually coming bottom. And I'm going to back off for just a second so I can get my HP up again. But I might... My options are basically... I think I should get Manta style first then maybe an MKB afterwards so that I can actually counter the PA effectively. And once again, even taking Harass doesn't matter. I back up. Get out of vision range, heal up. If there's a lot of action on the map, I'll probably be there. Prophet is mid at the moment, so I'm just gonna stun strength treads. Skin. I have not been tracked yet, which is really dumb of him. He should really track me. He still hasn't tracked me. What is this guy doing? I'm really confused about this game so far, but no tracks yet. Okay. Um, I actually think I'm going to sell my poor man's, which is... I didn't really get a lot of value out of it. I probably shouldn't have upgraded it this game, because I was doing so well. If you're doing really well, you know that you're going to be more cost-efficient with items. Okay. Alright, I've got my Yasha coming. That'll give me some good movement speed. I was able to leap out of that. Oops, I guess oops, that was my mouse being weird. This is not looking good for him. I have once again not been tracked for some reason. Alright, so everything went pretty well. He was saving his puck ulti till last second because uh, he knew it might be a bit. Alright, and I have to be a little scared right now. Let's see if my if I regen. Alright, I am regening, so everything went pretty well. Oops, that's a courier. Let's see if we can predict his path. You get bottom, I'll get top. Didn't get him. He was invisible, so I didn't really have a good way to try to catch him. Yellow is PA, actually. I should be able to deal with this solo. So I think I'm going to go mess around with him. I probably should have actually used uh, Dark Pack quite rapidly there, but I was, I was quite delayed. I just didn't. I should have popped it right away because it goes right through her evasion. 
luckily Beastmaster showed up the right time. Nice TP, by the way. Alright. That helped quite a bit. I'm doing quite well, getting a lot of assisted supports. I mean, that's the difference between Puck and a lot of other heroes as a support, um, or as like a kind of carry role, is that you can actually gank quite a bit on this hero. And that is going to be an easy kill. He's going to be able to kill that wave. Fortunately, the... Uh, I'll go buy my ultimate orb at the side shop, I think. This way. Let's see if I can get this last hit. Uh, I took way too much damage here. It was really scary, but we live. Oops, I have to be quite careful of uh, the PA. There's the regen. Nature's Prophet's thinking about TPing. I'm gonna go back in now. Go to Fem Puck. Right. I'm on the chase. I'm really fast, max movement speed. If you're not spotted by enemies. Got him. So that was pretty fun. Nice little chase there. So if you're playing a Slark, I recommend preferably getting a lot of kills in lane. You need them. If you don't get a lot of kills in lane, your farm rate's going to be okay, but not that amazing. So a lot of kills in lane, very, very crucial. And other than that, I'll look cover for you. I haven't used my, uh, uh, go Necro so we can see Bounty Hunter. I think that sounds good. Let's see if I'm invisible. I think he's still following me. Yeah, he's still following me. Because I don't have max movement speed. They either have wards or the Bounty Hunter's following me. That's why I know that he's here. So I'm just going to play it safe, backing up. Let's get my Mantis down though. Actually, send this back. Get a TP scroll. There we go. I'm going to need a TP. And here comes my movement speed. Wow, he's still following me. Are you serious? This guy's seriously still following me. Right. I can't imagine that is the case. There it is. Just got max movement speed again. See that? So he was probably following me the whole time, or there was a ward there. Those are the only options. So, when you're jungling, have a good time. I'm going to stack this up because I have AoE damage. Um, Sark's actually really fast in the jungle. The creeps are respawning or resetting, so I'm, I'm going to stack this quick. I should probably go save Tony. Alright, he's going to be okay. I'll just take the wave instead. And while I walked away for a second, they all lived and stuff. Let's use that medallion. Keep forgetting to use the medallion. Alright, cool. Everything dies. Fun stuff. Ooh, I want that creep. Damn it, that was 100 gold. Those Necro 3s are worth 100 apiece. You should kill that ranged one next time. I thought that one hurts me really badly. Just the melee. Oh, I thought it was like 500 damage. Right. So, see what I mean about spammable though? Like, it's crazy. You can use it on every single camp. It's so cost efficient, you'll never run out of mana because it only costs 40. It does damage your HP, but that's relatively okay. And now that I have this... Go invisible for a second. Uh, could have maybe fought there, but got him with my leap damage. Alright, and the fun part is, I now stole 36 agility. So I, I stole 36 agility for 120 seconds, which is a lot of time. That's a, a very, very long time. It's not, I mean, yeah, it's going to hurt them. They lost approximately 36 stats. I'm tracked, actually. Here, let me Manta out of this so I can get a heal. <laughs> okay. I was like, why am I not healing? And I was like, oh, I'm tracked. That's why I got Manta still. Also, the uh, the illusion actually applies... Sorry, the uh, the agility steal actually applies to my Manta style, so that's kind of nice as well. So we're going to be able to take mid. I'm going to go TP here because the team's not going to be able to push more.
where to go from here is uh, is the next question. I think what I'm going to do is just get a Monkey King bar because of these, um, the PA. And I will have to be slightly concerned without carrying him. So I, I will actually go a damage item. I wouldn't always recommend this. I think BKB is largely the best item on Slark. But luckily in this game, they don't have a whole lot of disables. So I don't have to be that concerned with uh, having a BKB. So this game I get to go MKB after Manta style because I'm doing so well. Once again, I, yeah, I have so many kills. 10 kills, 13 assists. I can farm pretty fast. I've got flash farming potential. But I literally think you can only do this well on Slark is if you get kills in lane. So, so crucial. Oops, they're actually fighting me. I don't have a TP scroll. So I'll switch to strength treads here. Just let it go. No, we can fight it. We're so far ahead. I'm going in. Alright, I'll be there. I'm gonna come from the back side. Here's the max movement speed that I already have. Got him. I'm getting so much agility. Apparently you can't hit invisible people. That was an easy kill. Alright, we just killed four, so good deal. Yeah, we can definitely defend towers. We're so far ahead, there's no way they can do a push like that. We could easily win a team fight. Once again, pushing the lane whenever I can. Every time the creep wave is up, I nuke it. Got some Manta illusions here. Those have only 24 agility, but that's still pretty good. Whatever. That was a nice free. We will take our racks in this. I might be able to fight this, honestly. Missed him. Kill him! We got him! Alright, so we won the fight. Once again, I turned back and fought because we're so far ahead. Oh man, I missed. I'm gonna go and Viz for a second. Dark Pact will once again do damage. That was pretty silly of him to go back in. I think I kept forgetting to use Medallion, but... I don't use the item very much, so it's gonna happen. Wow, I had a lot of agility there. That was like 60 agility stolen. That's so many stats if you think about it. There's the MKB. Next item I'll probably get is gonna be a butterfly. Oops, I'm going to tread switching his way off here. The reason I'm going to get a butterfly next is because they're almost all physical damage. Uh, BKB is once again not going to be usable. It's only going to be good against the Jakiro. So I would say if you're playing Slark guys, make sure they don't have a lot of stuns or nukes. That's where things get kind of rough. So, pretty happy with the game so far though. I'd like, uh, though this game looks really good and you might be thinking all oh, Slark's a really good hero, I'd like to point out that I played approximately four games before I actually got anywhere near a, clo a good Slark recording. I've been playing much better this game than the previous, but... Um, yeah, that's uh, important to notice. You're not going to hop into a Slark game and just stomp with him, because he's not easy to use. He takes a lot of practice. Maybe not practice, but helps to not be an idiot, which sometimes I am. But yeah, Butterfly is going to be nice. Um, I, might, I might actually do... I could do a... I could do a Halberd. I don't think it would be bad. The reason it wouldn't be terrible is because um, I could use it against PA or the or the Bounty Hunter. But for now, I'm just going to counter push. I don't have much agility left over. As you can see, my attack speed is pretty normal. But I should for sure be able to take this tower. Okay, we'll kill this guy easy. Wow, that was easy. All I had to do is land the, uh, the last zone. It was all over. You know, 
a second Sorry, I will regen up. 120 HP per second. Right Getting six, is that what it is? Seven percent. I'll just wait till I'm full and then I'll continue attack. last sitting. It's like they're More fighting somewhere. Just... Beastmaster killing Prophet top. Shouldn't be an issue. I've got track on me. Got him. Alright, and then we'll flip out of this. Oh yeah, Dark Pack removes uh, track. I forgot about that. Derp. Um, it's a very, very, very good against a lot of different things. I have to fly away for a run away for a second so I can get some regen here. Let's see how long it takes. He's actually not chasing me. So I get the full regen. This guy is just not using his brain sometimes. Regen again. Right. So yeah, what Slark gets ahead, he's very, very good. It's the best way to describe him as a hero. We're so far ahead now that it just it doesn't really matter a whole lot. The enemy's bottom tower has landed here. If he ends up jumping on me, I'll just go invisible probably. Oh, this is what I can do. Sometimes you do get lucky with uh, your initiations though. Got one. Fine assassin you turned out to be. Let's remove okay. the track. This way. He's so dead. Now you're talking. Regen me. Just wait over here a bit. You sure? You sure? I'm just going to do this because I can afford it, dammit. I'm taking a big risk buying this. Come on. Leave me alone, Napalm. Let's be a little careful here. Do this. Nice one. Yeah. Come fight me. No. Just no. I died. We're all dead and stuff. Okay, Beastmaster will end this. That's not enough money. Run. Leap! <laughs> uh, uh. Leap! I do have max movement speed while I'm running. I could have just ended the game. I also could have used the Heaven's Halberd before I died. I popped one, but that wasn't enough. Okay. <laughs> oh, pardon the plan. It's pretty funny. Right through here. Where am I? Oh, there I am. God, they can see me. They can see me so much. Alright, let's go do it. Alright, we win. Okay, cool. Alright, so that's a Slark gameplay. That's probably the best game of Slark I'll ever play in my entire life. I had a lot of trouble making this commentary, so just make sure that if you're playing... If you're playing um, Slark, that you get a lot of kills in lane. That helps. Maybe gank some side lanes. That's very, very good as well. And then from there, transition into kind of this thing. Shutting down your opponents, countering what they're going for. I went MKB only because they had a Phantom Assassin. Luckily, they didn't have a whole lot of stuns. So I was able to just skip 
I was able to just skip BKB, which normally I would say you should get. But Mantis style gives you some options. You can stop back or bounty hunter track that way. You can also uh, purge off the uh, track using dark pack. There's there's lots of ways. So that's gonna be the end of the game for Slark. Uh, that's, I'm never playing him again probably because I was quite frustrated playing the last couple games. But there are better carries, and I would say that's the best way. But he's he's kind of a fun pub stomping hero if you get good at landing the, the leaps. And notoriously, I was terrible at leaps every other game I played. So thanks everybody for watching, and I'll see you later. Bye.